My name is Bongda Mies. I got married on the 9th of December 2000. It was a white wedding held at Simunia Pentecostal Church in Swaziland. We were so happy, but after three years of our wedding, my husband got sick and died. He was an employee at Simunye Sugar Company, so we had been staying in one of the company houses. Even before he was buried, my in-laws wanted a share of what we had. They took everything from the bedroom to the kitchen and the car. They left nothing for me and the children. In the Swazi custom, a woman must stay indoors away from the public for 30 days, beginning from the day her husband passes away. So I went to his parental home with my children. After the cleansing ceremony, my in-laws asked if I wanted to visit my parents. I thought they were being supportive. When I returned after two weeks, I found out I had been wrong. I found my mother-in-law sitting in front of the house with her friends. They laughed at me and shouted, Uya pigelona, ngoba likaya la amleli, agusilo likaya la gubola. Ukoshi wa ine kaya gini, angemfunla agahambe na labanfa na bag. Kian lens. She called one of her other grandchildren and told her to lock the door. On top of this, I was very sick at the time. My CD4 count was down to 9, and the doctors were sure I would die any moment. But I started my ARIV treatment and recovered well. It was so very hard to live without a job and with no support from relatives. I managed to rent a small apartment in the country, and my husband's company paid the school fees for the children. We struggled to live. In December 2005, I started to volunteer with the Swaziland National Network of People Living with HIV, Swanepa, and now I work there full time. I want to counsel HIV positive women like me. This is in my heart. You see, in our country, there is no law that protects the inheritance rights of women. If you are a woman, you cannot get a piece of land by yourself. You have to bring a boy child so that the land can be registered in the boy's surname. So until we gain our rights, we must help each other to survive.